Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event. Fight fans worldwide, you've tuned into the number one undisputed boxing podcast today. This is the Boxing Breakdown. Who are some of those trainers today? Well, I'm not sure. The late great Mr. Leslie Mose, the guy that's so you know, he was a uh, tremendous fighter in the in the forties. But he had like yourself, he called it the Tech Rep and back then that's the uh, death sentence for the career. But he had beat Bob Montgomery in two rounds uh, uh, in a non title bout here in Philadelphia. And he was the reigning lightweight champ of the world. Fight fans, join host Mark Roxy and special guests as they break down all aspects of the boxing world, including news, business, management, training, promotions. Fan reactions, upcoming events, matchups, future boxing stars, title fights, state of the boxing world, and all the stuff you don't see when you watch boxing. This podcast is released each week on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Live streamed on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook Live. It's the Boxing Breakdown, hosted by Mark Roxy. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's going on, people? I'm your host, Mark Roxy, and I have in the studio the one and only two-time world champion, welterweight champion, K9 Bundrens. What's up, brother? What's up, my bro? You all right, M? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. I I, um, am I'm even better now that I get to see you because... Yesterday we were supposed to hook up and we didn't hook up and you were you were yeah. so kind enough to just like you know block it into your schedule and and make it possible for me to be with you and I'm I'm yo I'm stoked man I'm stoked what what have you been up to oh, good man hey man I've been um training fighters um such as my son a little some um, with wrestlers <laughs> um Uh-oh. kids. And I've been getting ready for my own fight, which will be June the 30th in Michigan on uh, the anniversary of when I beat Corey Spinks to bring the world title back to Detroit. So it's on and popping like this jab. Are you kidding me? (laughs) You're fighting? You're. Oh, man. Quit playing. (laughs) I just fought in November. Did you? You You ain't no. Oh, man. This can't be the breakdown. This yeah, can't be the breakdown. Yeah, yo, we've been we've been doing so much. You are a hard guy to catch up with. You yeah. you know you just you know okay. you you just been doing so many things. Um, you for first of yeah. all, you were part of this God, big yeah. multi multi million dollar thriller fight, and you yeah. you uh, trained Ben Askren, and yo, what yeah. what's up with that? Well, you know, um, it's hard to say I actually trained him. I just was brought in to camp just to kind of help him get his hands right. And um, so I worked with him for three weeks. And, um, you know, I did the best I can in a short period that I had with him. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he didn't come up, you know, on a, on a, win, on a win end of the, of the stick. But, um, you know, hey, at least he eating good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My name's yeah. buzzing. You know what I mean? Yes. <laughs> and, um, hey, all, all, all press is good press. Yeah, as long as you ain't pressing too hard, right? That that's spoken like a true world champion, yeah, man, two-time world champion. I I definitely understand, yeah, uh, your perspective on that. And um, yeah, so you trained him for three weeks, and yeah. they brought you in at last minute, which was a good idea because uh, he definitely needed to move his hands. And you know who who else would they want to bring in other than you know? Woof, woof, woof. Uh, 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 yeah. Yo, yo, I had it. I had it <laughs> all set up, man. I had it here. Yeah, I got it right here. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I beat you to the bark, baby. <laughs> yeah. You're the real one and only, right? Snoop man, Dog, Snoop quit playing. Dog, nothing on you. K9, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Well, man. I'm excited to hear that you're fighting. Tell me about the fight. Yeah. Who are you fighting? You know, how'd that come about? Man, so you know, like I say, I, um, I never did retire. You know, I was on a, a three three year absence, um, from being in the ring because you know people were giving me or offering me what I wanted to hear, and um, I'm not struggling or anything, you know. So you know, that's how they get a lot of times. They get good fighters or they get former world champions. They they throw that bone out there and they got to bite. Either you take it 
or you move on or you lose. So it's like, now nah, I'm straight. Now I went through that when I was younger and earlier on in my career where I had to take a fight to pay bills, you know what I mean? And, you know, ended up on a short end of the stick because I was, you know, trying to take care of my family. But um, I put myself in a better position and my family in a better position to never have to go through them situations ever again. Amen, man. That's that's what's up. And and you know, it's it's a it's a whole new world in boxing. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of new things happening and you know, man. specifically, you know, you know, all these fighters uh, are are coming out of retirement and and yes. you know, fighters that have wonderful names that have kind of not been out in the limelight or now you know, I mean, you, you're like you're like a, an icon, bro. You're you're not just another fighter. You're you're like, you know, you bring a lot a lot to the table as a fighter yes. and as a marquee, as a name. I mean, there's a lot that you have that yes. that um, you know, not even that Jake might want to get. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Jake might want to see this egg. <laughs> yo, yo, I was he all right. Yo, you got, you got me burning here. You got me burning uh, here because man, first of all. Like how did it? Okay, so I saw your video that you posted up. Um, I'm gonna yeah. run it. Right. I'm not gonna run your video, but what I am okay. gonna do is yeah. I just want to know where people. Uh, I, I want people to know where they can go, uh, yeah. so they can see your video, right? And so okay. your Instagram is right there. It's K9 Boxing, and uh, the video had me. Cr- the video had me crying. <laughs> I mean, it really did. Uh, K9, it yeah. had me crying because you okay. were so, you had your sombrero on, you were rocking the, the Mexican hat on. Yeah. And, um, Let's get it. That's yeah, right. Yeah, you were, you were Dog in the fight. Us. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, my guy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then. Let's go. That's right. Where my Woo-hoo. dog's at. That's okay. it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, so you were, you were, you know, in it. And you were you were yeah. walking him through exactly what he needed to do, and yes. what was interesting about what you were doing in the actual video is you kept calling for the left hand, so you knew something about that left hand. Tell me what yeah, you saw yeah. and what 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 led you to to like kind of hyper focus on that left hand against Jake Paul. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've been doing this a long, long, long time. I'm talking about over thirty years. I've been trained by the best, you know, Manuel Stewart, you know, may God rest his soul, mm-hmm. and Sugar Hill, you know, who's actually training Tyson Fury right now. Right. So, um, you know, I've saw everything. I've been through everything. I've been through the ups, the downs, and back to the ups again. And I just kind of understood what was going on. Um, I punished um, being, um, Jake Paul's trainer before and, and Jay Leon Love. And um, I got more experience <laughs> than BJ Flores. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, I could bring a lot to the table, you know, right. as far as in the situation with being, and I did bring a lot to the table. Unfortunately, you, get, you didn't get a chance to really see a whole lot of it, but, yeah. um, you know, Hey, you know, at least, at least, at least, you know what I mean? I had, I got the opportunity. I mean, I just want y'all to understand when I was calling the fight that what we worked on in the gym, you know, we worked on what I was right. trying to tell him, hoping that he would listen to me even through the, um, the video, you know what I'm saying? Right. but you know, unfortunately he couldn't hear me. I mean, to be honest with you, I wish I would have been actually in his corner. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm his main coach. To be honest with you, I gave him, you know, more training than anybody. Yeah. And um, you know, I mean, he's the boss at the end of the day. When you paying, you know, your trainer, you the boss. So you, right. you make the, you know, you make the decisions at the end of the day. But I just know that when it comes to a boxing match, you should have a boxing trainer there. You know. And yeah. I understand that his MMA buddies are his buddies, but you're talking about boxing, you're talking about MMA. And last time I looked, it was a boxing match. So yeah. that right there, you know, gave um, Jake Paul another chance, or, or you know what I'm saying, to be able to beat Ben, because Ben had, I mean, because, yeah, because Jake had real boxers in his corner. He had trainers that boxed before, and, and I mean, they never won world titles, but they were actually trainers, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And, you know, there's nothing, nothing you can do about it. You know, you can't cry with spilled milk. You shouldn't cry with spilled milk. Yep. I appreciate Ben because Ben is a real genuine dude. For I sure. met him actually on Twitter. I met wow. him on Twitter and um, someone told me to reach out to him. So I reached out to him. I told him if he wanted to get trained by me, um, you know, to DM me. And he DM me right away. Wow. And then, you know, when he DM me, he said, I'm going to bring you out. 
to see if you know if me and you can jail and if you the right right one for me. Right. So uh, when I went out there, I was the right one for him because he brought me back and then he brought me back again. Now he should have kept man. me. I believe he should have kept me. I wish yeah. I'd have stayed out there the whole camp and did the same thing that Jillian, Jillian Love, and BJ Flores did. See, they all stayed in camp. They it was boxing, 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 boxing. Right, and so, that's what it takes to even to beat YouTubers. Well, yeah, and I mean, with a three week, with I mean, you can. There's only there's a very small. You can just kind of touch it and, and, yeah. and kind of help them. You know, get go in the right direction. You know, yeah. You know, just stay alive, right? For real. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's hard to yeah. hard to do much in three weeks. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to do en- much in six weeks if you've never really worked with the fighter. But you yeah, know, exactly. I mean, unless the fighter's at a very high level where they can pick it up, but but. Especially, saw, let me, you know, I was going to say this before I forget, especially off a of hit replacement, being retired, sitting on the couch and not really a boxer, you know, a right. wrestler, but not a boxer, two different sports. Right. So do you think, so in the, in the master plan, right, the business, yeah. talk about the business of, of the sport. Yeah. Yes, indeed. That was, that was a custom design, wasn't it? Was it not? Yeah. I mean, what are yeah. your feelings about that in terms of it being... Uh, you know, Jake Paul kind of going, okay, this is going to be an easy win. We can go on a big yeah. stage. We got this guy. He's got hip problems. I mean, did you notice the hip problems? I did notice the hip problems because yeah. he wasn't able to do certain things in camp, you know? Got I it. mean, it was a few other issues, too, that, you know, you know that the people that wouldn't understand wouldn't know. Yeah. I just take my head off to, to him just for even taking a fight and going out there giving it his all. Whether his all was just in a short period of time, he really felt that he could beat um, Jake Paul. And for those that don't think that he actually took it serious, it's only so much you can do with a hit replacement and being out the ring for a long time. So he actually did train. He trained. It's just that, you know, you know, time, time away for nobody. And he had a short period of time. And Jake Paul and them knew what they was doing by giving him a short period of time and a whole bunch of money. It's hard to say no. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's well, not only is it hard to say no to all that money, but I mean, when you really look at Jake Paul, um, yeah. I mean, what do, how do you assess his skills? Let's say K nine steps up because he's isn't he like right around your weight right now? Yeah, um, you know, to be honest with you, I walk around at his weight class. Yeah. So I mean, I wouldn't have to lose no weight. So I would fight him right where I'm at now. I'm one eighty some right now. I gained four five more pounds. Fight him at one ninety some. I wouldn't lose no weight. I would stay the same right where I'm at now. And I would punish him. It'd be easy work. I mean, in the beginning, he'd be trying to knock me out. The thing about it is he wouldn't be able to hit me. And right. just like with Floyd Mayweather, people couldn't hit Floyd Mayweather, so they got frustrated. He would get frustrated, and he'd never been in the second round, never been in the third round, and he would give in. He'd say, you know what? I think I'm going back to YouTube. <laughs> he went back to YouTube, you know what I'm wow. saying, with the quickness. And then he would have fired his girlfriend, you know what I'm saying, Jaylian Love, and then he'd have got rid of BJ Flores. <laughs> Right. And they would have been out of a job. And it, but, you know, who knows? They would probably would have found the ping pongs and went somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I hear that, yeah. man. I hear that for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Like, That's I, right. I, um, yeah, I mean, I would love to see you fight him. I think that yeah, would be yeah, a great yeah. fight, man. That would be a great... I hadn't even thought about that before, you know, before I was getting together tonight. Like, I think that would be a great fight. I heard I heard there's talks about Mayweather, him doing something with Mayweather. Did you hear about that? Yeah, that's the brother. That's his brother. Uh-huh. Yeah, Logan, Logan Paul. He's talking about doing a fight against Mayweather. Um, you know, JD I love, man. You know, how me and him even how me and him got into it in the first place. Because I was calling Jake Paul out. I was saying if Jake Paul really wants to prove that he's a legitimate fighter, then fight a former two time world champion. And a, a former two-time world champion who's past his prime, and you would get more credit from beating me than you would get from beating oh. from beating um, Nate Robinson, and even being Ashburn, because I'm a former two-time world champion. Let me rewind that: a former two-time world champion. So Jay was mad about that. Oh no, you're not messing my. You not put that. He put the lipstick on. Oh no, 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 no you're not messing my money up. <laughs> so you know. And I'm like, whoa, hold on, boy, hold on. You know what I'm saying? But we came from the same gym. That's why I was really pissed and uh, upset because right. you know I've been over his house before. You know what I mean? We yeah. broke bread before, and for him to just you know, you know, act like a diva, man, it just was. Right. It was really upsetting, very upsetting. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, 
this guy, you know what I'm saying? Just put that wig on, take that wig off, quit pretending, you know? Because gay is out here now, you know what I mean? Hey, don't be ashamed of who you are. That's right. Be who you are, right? Be Welcome who you are. Up. Hey, that's, that's right. you, that's you. Right. I'm not going to judge. That's right. Where my dog's at. Yeah, right listen, here. you know, yeah. uh, it's interesting, it's interesting um, because there's been a lot of talk about uh, Snoop's reaction. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, there's been yes, a lot of talk yes. about that. I wondered what Man. you thought about that. What, you know, just share with us what what your feelings are about uh, his interactions as a, uh, you know, as a... Uh, yeah, uh, you know, a business entity. You know, he's obviously one of the one of the bosses of this. Um, yeah, you know. So, what was your feeling about that? And I just think of if you one of the bosses, that's the same thing when when I fought against Floyd Mayweather fighter Ishe Smith, right? Now I didn't see when he was harassing my wife, but I did see him running around the ring. You ain't okay no now. Get him, Ishe. I run this way. You ain't okay no now. now. You ain't what? You ain't nothing, huh? And then run this way, and I'm like. You the promoter. So as a promoter, you're supposed to be sitting down with your seat suit on, with your legs cocked in the air, and just chilling. And right. so, and so I feel the same way about Snoop. Snoop should not be so involved where he's out there smoking his blunts. You know what I mean? You got these kids watching, and at the same time on the air saying, telling, telling um J. Paul, give my two million. So what he bet two million that he was gonna that um Ben Ashton was gonna lose in the first round. So it, it seems like the judge or the referee was paid. If, if he get hurt, stop the fight. Because I got to get this $2 million, You know what I mean? And if he bet $2 million, then guess what? If the odds were against Ben, which I'm quite sure they were, they then were. He, he could stand to get even more money. They they were. The odds were, were against Ben. And, uh, uh, you know, I actually, you know, to be, be 100% transparent with UK9, I actually yeah. bet on the fight. And okay. I bet, but I, I didn't bet. I didn't bet on who was gonna win. Yeah. Um. I bet on how long the fight was gonna go because I'm thinking K nine. I'm thinking. I'm saying. You know. Ben Ben can go. He can fight. He's been in the ring before. He's not gonna go easily. You know. And no. and uh, Jake is new. You know. He's got only three fights. You know. Yeah. You probably want to stretch it a little long. And I picked over five point five rounds. And guess what? Okay. <laughs> You lost. <laughs> I lost. Yeah. I lost. And, and lost. then I will tell you something. Yeah. I normally don't uh, wager yeah. against fights that I have not a little knowledge about. And that okay. was a fight. Okay. And, and that's my uh, recommendation to yo, yo, those of you out there that are yeah. uh, interested in sport betting. Like, if you don't know the fighters, it's probably not a good idea to bet. That's the lesson <laughs> I took from it because I, yeah, you yeah. Know, I don't like to lose money. Yeah, you know what I mean. Who do? No, (laughs) I know exactly. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Who who does? I mean, I don't. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But so then, so then, then this thing goes on. I mean, talk about the drama. Then you got Oscar De La Hoya. Um. (laughs) Yo. Wah wah wah! Right. What the hell was that about? Man, I don't know. Man, he was feeling himself. I mean, he was just one of them nights. You know, (laughs) I'm coming back. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you're about to get paid some of that money that I lost when Canelo uh, left me. It was like, man, it was hey, he really threw it. bizarre. Like, yeah, it I was. Mean, it was. It's I, it's thriller, man. You know, yeah. it reminds you of thriller. I've never seen anything like that. I mean, we've been watching. Yeah. You know, we've been watching and yeah. involved in. I've been involved in boxing for years. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah, like honestly, I mean, like, yeah, and and a booty a booty shaking girls. I mean, it was like. It was crazy. And just yeah. concert after concert after concert after concert. I'm like, man, oh yeah. man, I'm telling you, I still got a crick in my neck trying to stay, trying to, you know what I'm saying, commentate the fight, you know. But hey, if they like it, I love it because it's at the end of the day, I'm talking about the sport of boxing. You know, I mean, enough, you know, I think I felt like it was a little too much over the over the hill, but you know, we the boxer need more young people. They need more eyeballs on the sport of boxing. So with Triller coming on, all they got to do is just, you know, do a few different things differently. I believe they can really, because they got something going. I mean, what they got is really good. They got Mike Tyson. They got a a YouTuber that 
A lot of people want to see lose, want to see win, and right. it's good for boxing. I mean, it's good for boxing because our boys are on a square of boxing. Granddad ain't here no more. Grandma ain't here no more. Them were the ones that were diehard boxing fans. Right. We got new young people now who don't care, who care nothing about boxing. Right. So we need younger people that can bring younger people to the sport of boxing. Yeah, well, and and it, you know, if anybody, you you know, you're you're really touching on a great point business wise because yeah. if anybody, if you put together like the likes of a Mike Tyson, you put together Snoop, you put together this team of people and everybody else that's up in there. And, yeah. um, you know, these are entertainment people. They understand yeah. what entertainment is about. Snoop yeah. certainly knows about, you know, I mean, he knows everything about the music industry. And yeah. uh, and I don't just mean hip hop. I mean, every industry, every music industry. And he understands right. how to monetize this thing. And yeah, he, he, right. his, his presence in the sport is definitely a plus for the sport. You know, I definitely mm -hmm. think that... Um, it, it'll make a huge difference. I, I just, I, this is my one, my one caveat with this, bro. This is the thing that yeah. I have a little bit of a problem with canine is that okay. uh, I work with fighters all the time and you know, yeah. at, at, you're, you're a two time welterweight yeah. world champion. You've been at this yeah. since you were a little boy. I mean, you've been boxing yeah. your whole life, right? Coming yeah. out of punk uh -huh. gym. You've taken some, some, some r rattling shots over the years, right? Why and how is it that a fighter? Well, everybody. I mean, look. If you you've been yeah. you've been tested for sure. There's yeah, of no course. Question. Yeah. And and yeah. I don't mean any disrespect for that. I mean that yeah. that a guy like you, who really, you know, knows how to, how to. I mean, you've boxed with heavyweights. You you've been in the ring. You you know how this with works. Tyson Fury. That's right. Tyson Fury. You know you've been you were in with Vladimir Klitschko, right? Or no. No, 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 no. Oh, well, um, Donna well, Stevenson. Well, Donna Stevenson. Okay. Chad well, Dawson. Yeah. We talking about these guys walking the around 200 some pounds. Yeah, yeah. I have been in a ring with Clisco before, though. Right. But not in a ring with Clisco before. Right, not, not in the, <laughs> yeah. Not in the yeah. ring. Yeah. But Tyson Fury taller and bigger than Clisco. So here's my point. Yeah. How much, they, how much did uh, Jake Paul make for that fight? Man, he probably made... Like 550 Four million. Four million dollars. Yeah. Oh, four, probably four or five. I'm quite sure you got all them endorsements. I mean, he probably was guaranteed one, or you know, close to one. But then he get, he made all his money on on sponsorship. Yeah. See, that's something he could do. He got a YouTube channel that's banging, so the, the people was knocking down his door to be a sponsor on Triller. Like and he got one point five million views, huh? Yeah. He's got fifteen million followers, right? Exactly. Yo. And they, but they had one point four million views. Wow, oh, that's yeah. insane. So he's Unreal. monetizing that too. He's getting money off exactly. that too. Get money, get exactly. money, get money, baby. Yeah. No, I mean, I think it's amazing, but yeah. I will say that I find it to be um, also a, a tragic. Yeah, yeah, it's tragic because fighters, you know, there's a lot of fighters out there that would take that same fight, and you know this, yeah. Yeah. for a thousand bucks. They take yeah, that same for, fight for a thousand bucks. Just for exposure. Bucks. Just yeah, for exposure. Just for exposure. And yeah. I, I just find it to be um, somewhat, I don't know, I, I just, I yeah. have a problem with that, uh, yeah. you know, from a fighter who's got three, he, now he's got three wins, three KOs, three yeah. wins. Yeah. Um, so really, he's a bona fide fighter. Master I mean, you got to take the, you have to take the good with the bad. I mean, it is what it is. If he got a fan base, then it is what it is. You got to remember, at the end of the day, to be honest, in these days we are not, the fans don't care about no how good you can fight. Right. They want some entertainment. You know, right. they want to hey, they they rather see two guys who can't fight beating each other up than to see somebody in there boxing all day. They rather see that. That's why they turned over to UFC. Right. And it's about entertainment. You got Snoop Doggy Dog smoking this blunt. You got these these hoochie mamas shaking their butt. Yeah. People paying for that. You got Justin Bieber performing. He got a whole bunch of fans himself. Right. Then you got the YouTuber. You know, you got him. You know, he got all these people following him. I mean, you got people that 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 love him and like him. And even Ben Ashkren, let's not forget Ben Ashkren has yeah. almost a million followers on Instagram. Yeah, yes, sure. Ben Ashkren, he's a champion wrestler. He right. got a big fan base. He's the man in Milwaukee. So just think about how many people that bought the fight just because of him. Win, yeah. lose, or draw. 
So I mean, you got, man, you got a lot, a lot of um, a lot of people in there, a lot of presence in there. Promoters take note. Young promoters out there looking to make make this thing work, make it monetize. Uh, you know, even club promoters at this point with the technology that's available. I mean, you can yeah. do pretty much anything at this point, right? But Absolutely. you know, the, the blueprint is 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 out. The blueprint is out. You can yes. see it right there. Um, that's right. Yeah. So, canine. A couple. I just wanted to ask you, right? What fights okay. are you interested in, big guy? What fights are you watching? You know, uh, that that the fans may not be paying attention to, or maybe they are. What yeah. what what fights interest you? Well, I mean, to be honest with you, Jake Paul, Floyd Mayweather, and Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto and me were supposed to fight a few times. Floyd never did fight me, even though I was world champ at the same time he was. And we both were from Michigan or from Michigan. And of course, Jake Paul, man, you know, I, I feel like, you know, Jake Paul needs to really test himself. Quit picking and choosing. Put, you know, picking people that's former NBA players or retired wrestlers and fight a dog. You know, somebody that won two world titles, somebody that has muscle memory. And you still got a good chance in, in, in your YouTubers' eyes to beat me because I'm 40 some years old. The last biggest fight I had, I lost. So, and if you want credibility, why not go with somebody that got straps? Yeah. You know what I mean? Not, right. not, not no bull craps. Straps. Yeah. So, so do you think what what would you what would you watch out for with him? You think he's got a good strong right hand, or what? What do you see as his attribute? Your hands can't hit what your eyes can't see. <laughs> I mean, so all you gotta do is don't get hit. If he can't hit me, then he gonna trust me. He gonna fold because right. pressure busts water pipes, and I'm gonna put that pressure on him. And he can't take it to the body. He can't take it to the body. Trust me. Most those guys that can punch hard and can you know they can't they can't take a good punch. He hasn't been hit to take a good punch yet to show if he can take a punch. So, That's you know, right. I would make sure he don't hit me and make sure I hit him, and that would be more than enough to beat him. Yeah. All right. Well, you heard it right here, y'all. You heard it right here on the Boxing Breakdown. K-9 will yeah. will do that, will make that happen. Make the call, Easy work. Jake Paul. Make Easy call. work. And, uh, Easy work. Love to uh, see uh, you. Uh, uh, there you go. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Let's go. Where my dogs at? <laughs> That's the dogs. Yeah. No joke, man. No so doubt. My what guy. about what about these fights, man? Ryan Garcia against Fortuna. Who you got? Yeah. Um, you know, Fortuna, if I'm not mistaken, he's a Southpaw, right? Yeah. Dominican Republic. And yeah, I think that um no, I'm just saying talking about whether he's a Dominican Port Republic. I'm saying he's a Southpaw, right? Yep. Talking about far as the South stance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now Ryan Garcia has a great left hook. And and a South Park killer is an overhand right, straight right, or either a left hook. And um man, Ryan Garcia has a great left hook. Now he will be in there with the most experienced fighter he's fought to date, but I just think he's too big and too young, too fresh, and he has that South Park killer style. The old the overhand right and a left hook. So I could see him winning that fight. And in, in, in probably a 11, 12 round stoppage, he'd go far deep in the yeah. later rounds. But okay. he'll win by stoppage. He's just too, 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 um, too fast, too hungry, too much momentum. And yeah. um, he wants to prove to everybody that he's great and that he really earned his his um, sponsorship he just got. <laughs> yeah, and there's a lot of big fights on the horizon. Should he get past Fortuna? Yeah. That's for absolutely. Sure. There's some big, yes, big indeed. money fights coming down the pipe. Yeah. If he can survive Absolutely. that fight. And then, uh, what yeah. is, okay, Teofimo Lopez against George Gamboza. What you got? Man, Teofimo Lopez, boy. Hey, Gamboza, though, he's a cool dude, man. But, man, Teofimo, that guy's a beast. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, that guy's a beast. Okay, undisputed. Boy. Undisputed. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah he, he undisputed. On. He's coming on next after you. He's not, not today, but he's coming on this week. So, uh, I can't well, that's wait good. to. To get him That's on, good. man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Another dog. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. yo. Bro, BK in the <laughs> house. Dog. Brooklyn all the way. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I so, like his style. Bed style. Throwback fighter. He a throwback fighter. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, is. He a throwback fighter. Yeah, yeah. 
So, okay, Devin Haney, Jorge Linares. Dímelo, Man, you know, I'm going to go with the young gun again. Um, Devin Haney, he actually trained with me at the Crunk Gym when he was a kid, and I didn't even know that. I didn't remember that until one day he came <laughs> on the show. And he told me, he said, K-9, you probably don't remember, but I trained with you when I was younger. I was like, oh, you did? It's like, wow. wow. You just never know. But, um, yeah, he's another one of the beasts at 130, 135. That's the greatest division right now in boxing, man. That division is on fire. It's hot, 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 hot. Yes. So I want to see him and, and Javante Davis, so him and Tefimo Lopez. I want to see the best versus the best. Shakur Stevenson, oh, um, Gabe yes. Russell. I want to see all them guys mix it up, man. I heard Shakur just had some sparring with uh, Terrence, uh, Terrence Crawford. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, and I yeah. heard it went real well for him. Mm, that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's let you know. The torch right. is starting to be turned. It's starting to be passed. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing, man. Okay. Canelo Alvarez and Billy Joe Saunders. Canelo is the smartest fighter today. I mean, Jake Paul ain't too far behind him, but Canelo, Canelo is the smartest fighter today. And he picked Billy Joe Saunders because he knew Billy Joe Saunders wasn't fighting. So that ring rush is going to play a big part in the reason why I believe that um, BJ Saunders was going to lose this fight. Because Canelo has been fighting back to back to back because he know he needed that extra, extra advantage to beat BJ Saunders because the last hard fight that Canelo had, if I'm not mistaken, was against a southpaw, a slick southpaw, which was Laura. And now in this southpaw, which is Billy Joe Saunders, who's slick, he's not going to be as sharp because he hasn't fought in a minute. That's the reason why Canelo was fighting him. The smartest boxer in, in the sport right now. Wow. Yeah, that's quite a yeah. claim. And I, I definitely concur with that. Uh, yeah. Time will tell to see, you know, how he gets past Billy Joe Saunders. But yeah. he's just uh, cleaned out the division. I mean, he's just going yeah. through it. He's just going man. through it, isn't he? Uh, um, yeah, man. The man is all right. And Eric Morales and Marcos Antonio Barrera. What's up with that? Did you hear about that? No, uh, I haven't. What about it? Yeah, I yo, I just saw something come across my feed that they might be putting it together for a uh, a return to the ring. Mm. That's good. Eric, you said Eric Morales? Yeah, Eric Morales and, Mar and Mar uh, Marco Antonio Barrera. Hey, that's what I say, man. YouTubers and, and, and uh, old veterans, man, are good for the sport. I mean, shout out to KSI. Those guys, man, are, you know, the fighters are realizing, like, hold on, man. <laughs> These guys making all this money and they ain't even real fighters. Right. I'm going to use my brand. I'm going to use my name. And right now, it's all about a name. It's all about the name. That's why I represent Jesus so much. It's all about Amen. the name. Hallelujah. Power. That's right. <laughs> it's I power in the name. I love you for that. I love you. I really do. <laughs> my bands are them. You and sure. I. You and I, two peas yeah. in a pod, you know? Hey, Thank you for Jesus shouting for out Jesus for no sure. No doubt. We yeah, on it, bro. Yeah. Amen. So, uh, okay, the last one before we go for tonight, yeah. I wanted to ask you about right. Gypsy King versus Joshua. You heard that's made. Well, I heard that. Is it made? Is, was it just announced because it's been made and it wasn't made and it was made and it wasn't made? I heard it's made. That's all okay. That's all I know. Now, you know how this stuff goes, man. You hear yeah, it's yeah, made yeah. one day. The next day yeah. it's not made. I need to see yeah. that fight. I'm hoping it happens yeah. before, you know, yeah. in our time, yeah. you know? yeah. So who you well, got I'm when happy. they fight? When they fight, who you got? Well, I'm going to go with Tyson Fury. You know, Tyson Fury, man, he just know how to win. And um, Anthony Joshua has lost before. So he doesn't really know how to lose, but he's lost before. Right. So, But I think Joshua is going to be, you know, very, very focused. I think, you know, well, I know you know styles make fights. I That's think right. that Joshua will get knocked out by Deontay Wilder. But as you see, Tyson Fury had Deontay Wilder's number. So Styles made fights. I think in this style, Joshua has the better chance at beating Tyson Fury than Deontay Wilder just because of the style. Right. Joshua was going to stay right there and bang with you. And that would be lights out against someone with the punching power of Wilder. But against Tyson Fury and it being real personal, I mean, country versus country, I'm yeah. talking about, man, that, that's going to be, listen, if Joshua would have never lost to Andy Ruiz Jr., right. that fight would really be big. That would be the biggest fight of all time. It's going to still be up there, maybe in the top seven. Right. But if it was because of how 
the European country support they they fighters, right. it would be the biggest fighter of all time, even bigger than Muhammad Ali versus Joe Frazier, money wise. Wow. wow, man, money wise, you know money they paying today, bro. Yeah. <laughs> See, they I ain't went paying. nowhere. Yeah, they <laughs> are, man. And fighters are fighting Boy. later in life. They're fighting later yes. into their years, man, and they look better. Man, yes. Mike Tyson, man. Mike Tyson is yeah. really like, like, yes. You know, if you've listened to the show, if you've been, you know, if you you know how I feel about Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah I, I love Mike Tyson, man, and and, yeah. and uh, he's just an, an icon in the ring, an icon out of yeah. the ring. He's done some great yeah. things, turned his life around. It's really a beautiful thing to watch, you know. That's the reason why I started boxing, Mike Tyson. I used to fight just like him. I used to mimic Mike Tyson. When Mike Tyson lost to Buster Douglas, I put a hole in the door. I was so mad, man. I think <laughs> I even cried. You know what I'm saying? They used to call me Tyson. That was wow. my nickname, Tyson. Young wow. Tyson. Yeah, and that when was he lost, not... I lost. Yeah. I got that. I got that because yeah. I, I um I remember yeah. the fight and I remember how I felt yeah. when I when I watched that. Movie. Man. Yeah. Sad day for me. That was the saddest day of boxing for me at that point in time. You know, yeah. it really, I think it's still really at, it, it equals up to when I lost my first fight, you wow. know, but you know, it is what it is. You move on. What shows how great you are when you can come back and re, and revenge your loss like I did in my first loss or either become a world champion, you know, oh. and that's what I became afterwards. That's what's Hashtag up. dogs ass. That's it. Yeah. Hashtag that's right. <laughs> you know what? Not only that, K9, you've got yeah. so many things going on right now. You know, yeah. you, you just you just making it work on every level. And Appreciate it's you. it's um it's inspirational. It's amazing to Thank watch you. you. Yeah. You're gonna be in the ring real soon. And I, I wanna oh, yeah. be there. I can't wait to see yeah. you fight. And oh, um, yeah. I know the fans wanna see you fight. Yeah, look at that. Look at yeah. that shoulder. Look at the shoulder. like it's Ooh. right there, man. Just look at that boom. Egg. Ooh, look at the guns. Boy, watch out. Yeah, I better Jake put Paul. it. I better put it up before they get scared. Yeah, Jake Paul. <laughs> put it up. Call. <laughs> That's right. Call him. Hey, holla at your boy. Yeah, holla. Don't bark if you can't bite. <laughs> hey. That's right. <laughs> right. <K9, laughs> there we man, go. It's a pleasure yeah. to talk to you. Always. I love you, man. Thank you much so love, much man. for being on the program. And, yeah. And um, we're gonna loop in because hopefully you'll have yeah. me on your program. Um, I, I love to come over there and be silly. Of and, course. And, and, yeah. and chop it up with you, man. Absolutely. Let's make right. it happen. Okay, man. All right, man. Get at me. Okay, God oh, bless oh, you. Oh, 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 yeah. All right, peace out. Where my dog's at. <laughs> You're amazing, bro. For yeah. real. Yeah, let me just, let me just send us out <laughs> well, on man, this man. intro. There we go. Yeah. We're going to take it out. And then, yeah, man. Fight fans, join host Mark Roxy and special guests as they break down all aspects of the boxing world including news, business, management, training, promotions, fan reactions, upcoming events, matchups, future boxing stars, title fights, state of the boxing world, and all the stuff you don't see when you watch boxing. This podcast is released each week on Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, live streamed on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook Live. It's the Boxing Breakdown, hosted by Mark Roxy. All right, Mark, one love, my dog.